back at you from Walker's Music with yet another word for today. I want to give a shout out to my buddy out there in Dallas, Texas, brother JT. Also to my big baby brother, Justice in uh, Frankfurt, Germany. Uh, brother PB Drawing, brother Minister Edward McCree, Michael McCree. Brother AG Praise, all ministers of music, ministers of the gospel as well. We count on the joy of people to be able to set, set here and be able to do these videos and to proclaim the word of God, build the kingdom of God, Jesus Christ. People, whatever we do, we should always be doing it for the glory of God and not for our own self-satisfaction. It's not about us. In other words, it's never about us. Uh, we, we, what we do, we should always be doing it for, to the glory of God and to give him, Jesus Christ, the glory. He the one died for us. He paid the penalty for our sin. He made it possible that we could have a right to the tree of life. So therefore, everything that was done, he done it for us. And we have we we didn't have not one hand in salvation. So all the glory would go to him. It goes to him and him only. I was on a, a earlier video that I was going to do. I did do it, and I I I I, uh, I de deleted it. I was going to talk about some music production, and uh, but I, I, I'm going to say this much about the music production. Uh, your music got to be tight. Your music got to be tight. And I heard this, uh, somebody on YouTube, I don't know who it was, they were speaking of how the, the rap artists and the R&B artists, they get their stuff out there. And I'm saying to the gospel artists that you must do the same thing. And just like the, the rap artists and the R&B artists, they take, they take their music into the club. And I know this hymn might sound funny to some people, but I'm going to say it. Gospel artist, you should take your music into the clubs too. Yeah, you should take your music into the club. Only thing it got to be is tight and right. And it will do just as well as the R&B and the rap. You just got a different message. That's all. Take your music into the club. People, what is the gospel? It's good news. It's light. Light need to be in dark places. That's why you light a candle to get dark in a dark room so you can put some light in it. So, I mean, that's what I had talked about on the last music production video. But I decided I would mix it in with the word for the day because I think it's very appropriate. It's very appropriate. So, I'm I'm I'm, I'm challenging all gospel artists. If you're not out there already, I I mean, some of us like myself, many men never wanted to be in the limelight. I never wanted to be a performer, per se, and I don't know, I don't know, I don't know what to say, but it's just, we'll just leave it alone right there. I, I, I wanted to be in the background when it came to music. I love theory, composition. I wanted to be in the background, in the back, in the behind the scenes of it. But at any rate, whatever you're doing, you should do your best. That's that's the, that's the key point. And I want to talk on something here just a little bit. I want to elaborate on something today that Pastor Washington, my second son of church, and he he, he preached about it. You know, uh, matter of fact, he did a, he he preached he can preach, but he did more teaching today, which that's what people need. People have been hollered at long enough. But he came from he came from the book of Joshua, and it's just where Joshua told the people, "Look, people, look here, look here. Why well, keep on fooling with this thing? If you're gonna do right, do right." If you go, if, 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 you know, why keep going between all these different gods and things? They be God served them and do this and do that. He said, but let's just get something straight. He said, but Joshua said, if they be God served them, but let, let's make a decision. Let's make a decision this day. He said, but for, as for me and my house, we're going to serve the Lord. So now that's, that, I mean, that was very powerful. That was a very, very powerful sermon today. And I, I, and I mean, it was a challenging one, too, because, see, it's get down to the point that where we must make a decision, people. It's a decision that only you can make. Are you going to serve God or serve the Satan? Just choose one and do that. Don't try to keep on straddling the fence and riding, leaning this way and that way. Go on and do what you want to do. If you're going to serve Satan, serve him. But if you're gonna serve God, serve Him. Don't you can't be you can't you can't do you can't you can't 
You cannot do it both ways, Pete. That's what that's what the sermon was about. And I tell you what, it was awesome, man. It was awesome. And I I tried to play a little bit today uh, behind him to try to, to, to kind of boost him up a little bit. There, he didn't need much because he had he was really on point with it. He was on point with it, and that's what we need, people. We need teaching. People been hollering at and all this wire yard and. Mm -hmm, and all that kind of stuff like that. And people go to church, they eat that for a thrill. The man get up and mm, why? Mm, and the said, mm, why? Wow! And people love that kind of stuff. And they ain't learned nothing. They go home still, though. They left their devil, they go back a devil. You ain't learned nothing to, to, to carry you through. When 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 you get attacked, you ain't you don't have no kind of substance to fight the devil with because the only thing you did is go to church to get thrill. So I just want to say, you know, that was just that. Just, I just had to throw that out there, people. And, you know, like I said, we need these things. We need, we need to, uh, we need teaching. And those of us who are, are Bible scholars and we trying to learn and we study the Word, let's help the ones that don't study. Maybe they, they will one day come to the point where they will study for themselves. But until then, let's be able to tell the people, uh, give them an answer for the joy and the hope that we have. You see, people. I had to learn the hard way, but there is no joy except for in the God's presence. I don't care. This is how come people not. This is how come people not satisfied. This is how come they they can't get satisfied because they're looking for joy in the wrong places in stuff. You can just keep on buying stuff and stuff and stuff, and they still ain't happy. You give them this, and they still ain't happy. Why? Because they're trying to fill a void that only God Himself can fill. There is only joy in the presence of God. God made all things for His joy. God is the only thing that can give us joy. You see what I mean, people? It's very, very simple. So, let's stop gallowagging around and trying to judge people and trying to talk, you know, worrying about people. You can't, you can't make people do anything. You can do you can do all the work and get mad and cussing folks out and all that stuff and people still gonna do it.